Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about how can we return JSON array, not JSON object. For example, if I need to return all the data from this table, in this case, I need to create a JSON array. So let's start with the example. As we do previously, right click on the source file, new, PHP file, and I will call it JSON array. Okay, so the first step is same. Let's start with connection, new MySQL I, okay, localhost, the username is root, we don't have any password, and the last thing is the database name, which is company. Now, the statement, statement, connection, prepare. So what's the SQL statement? It will be select star from EMP. In this case, I don't have anywhere or any question mark. If you remember, in the previous videos, in the insert, for example, I have three question mark. In the JSON object, I have one. But in this example, I don't have any question mark, which means there is no user data entry for this web service. In this case, you don't need this line, which is the bind param. You need only the bind param if you have a question mark, which means if you have a parameter or data entered by the user. Now, in my example, I will write statement execute. Okay? So, to return data from the database, as we have talked in the previous video, you need the get result function, which will return all the data from the database inside the variable RS. Now, for JSON array, you need also to create an array. For example, uh, EMPS, employees, using the array keyword. So, if you assign the variable to the array function in PHP, you will create an array called EMPS. Now, how can we return the data type or the data from the RS to this array? It's very simple. Just write while raw equal RS fetch associative, which means return the data to the row, then use the function array bush. Array bush will store the row, which is the ID, name, and salary for a specific row inside the EMP. And because it will be used inside loop, so it will store all the rows inside the array EMP. Okay? So the main function of the array bush is how to get data from the row and insert it into the EMP's array. The last thing is echo JSON. Encode for my array, which is EMPS. Okay, so let's try this example. Right click, run file. Yes, as you see here, it will be created the JSON array, which consists of three employees, ID, name, and salary, okay? So in this video, we have created a PHP file which return all the data from the EMP table and return a JSON array. See you next video.